markets. We're still up. Very solid gain here following the presidential tweet about meeting China's vice premier tomorrow. We're up 156 points. I need more guidance here on the market. So come on in, Rebecca Walser, <laughs> joining us here in New York City. Okay, here's my opinion. The best we can get out of these current talks is a very small scale deal. We do something on, tr on the tariffs, they do something on buying maybe soybeans or something like that. Right. You happy with that? No, of course not. But, you know, obviously the, the timing, market is. The market is happy. We, we were getting news uh, late last night that they were going to leave early, the delegation, a day early. And now we're finding out that uh, the, the vice premier is going to actually have dinner with Trump tomorrow. So that is huge. Or meet with him tomorrow in the White House. So that's what the market's reacting to right now, Stu, is, yeah, that's great news. The talks are ongoing. We're not having that delegation exit early. And so that's good. But I think you're right. All that's expected right now is some yeah. really medium term so short term extension because do i mean this nba is such a great opportunity for america to wake up and say are we not already beholden to china we can't even tweet with the freedom of speech in america and have the nba basically say oh no 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 we support china and they pull all the press before the preseason game that's happening today in shanghai this is ridiculous we are already owned by the chinese is this is how we act when well, somebody tweets something out would you as a market watcher giving investment advice to many people in our audience you would turn down a medium-term deal at the expense of your investors and the market? No, 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 Stu. I'm not saying turn down a medium-term deal. I'm definitely saying let's stay the course. I've been 100% behind this president on this issue. Stay the course. You're on the right track here. But we, the problem is, Stu, obviously we're looking at day-to-day, month-to-month, quarter-to-quarter. Long-term, a China deal is going to hurt until we get it, right? So this is not going to give us that much solace. It's going to be very short-term. That's great. He's having dinner or having a meeting. That's great. But I expect more soybeans, 400,000 more soybeans being it. That's good. That's good for the farmers. That's great. But we are talking about massive change between our two countries. Do you think it'll happen? As long as this impeachment is out there, China is going to be emboldened and thinking that they can outlast this president. So, oh, so impeachment is a negative. For oh, the impeachment is a huge threat to the, what China perceives as this president's solvency, basically. Okay. Well, that's an exciting A block yes. in the 10 o'clock hour. Yes. Some opinion being expressed. Rebecca, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you, Stu. Appreciate that. Now then, uh, on related... <laughs>